Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to manually update your Nexus 10 to Android 4.4 KitKat. Uh, there's finally an update zip file available so we can go ahead and manually update it. First of all, I want to go ahead and jump into settings, scroll down, go to about tablet. You'll see I'm on 4.3, build number JWR66Y. So you do need to be on that build to uh, manually update your Nexus 10 to KitKat. There are two prerequisites. First of all, you need to have the Android SDK tools and ADB set up on your PC. I'll link to a tutorial video in the description if you have not done so yet. And then also you need to download the update zip file, which I'll link to in the description as well. So those are the two prerequisites. Once you have the uh, file downloaded on your computer, you can actually just power off your uh, Nexus 10 because we need to go ahead and get it into the bootloader. All right, once your device is fully powered off, what you need to do is go ahead and press and hold all three buttons at the same time, volume up, down, and power button. Press and hold all three of them and it should take us into the bootloader like so. So here is the uh, bootloader menu on the Nexus 10. Go ahead and zoom in real quick. Uh, what you need to do is use the volume rockers to navigate and the power button to select. So go ahead and press the volume down or up until you see it say recovery mode. So once it says recovery mode, you can go ahead and press the power button. Um, doing so should take us into our recovery. Um, as I said, you should be able to do it on stock recovery or a custom recovery because there is an ADB sideload option in Twerp. Etc. So uh, let it go ahead and reboot into our, our stock recovery in my case. Uh, you'll see it says no command. To get out of the screen, um, my attempt is to press and hold the power button for a little bit and then tap the volume up button or volume down successively. So just kind of press and hold the power button and then just uh, kind of tap a volume up and down. It's a little tricky to get into the menu here, but as you can see, I did it by following what I just said, but we can go ahead and zoom in on this recovery here. Very simple, same steps, volume up and down to navigate, power button to select. Go ahead and press volume down until it says apply update from ADB and press the power button to select it. Now, once you do so, down at the bottom you'll see now send the package you want to apply to the device with ADB sideload. Now we can go ahead and go to our PC. All right, and once you have the file downloaded, as I said, go ahead and right click on it out of your downloads folder and hit cut. So just cut it out of your downloads folder and then navigate to where you have that Android SDK folder that we have set up and then go into the platform tools folder and then just paste it inside of, whoops, paste it inside of that folder actually. So just go ahead and right click and paste and make sure it's in there. Once it is, go ahead and act like you're gonna rename it and copy that text. So copy the entire file name. You can rename it if you want and copy whatever you rename it as. I'm just gonna leave it as is and just copy the text. Once you have that done, what you need to do is go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click. Doing so, it'll open up an option to say open command window here. Go ahead and click on that option and it should bring up a command prompt saying Android SDK platform tools or wherever you just pasted that, uh, that file into. All right, anyways, once you have this command prompt open, go ahead and plug your Nexus 10 into your computer. Uh, make sure you do plug it directly into the computer and do not use a USB hub. I will post a link to drivers um, on my website, actually. I'll link to them in the description if, for whatever reason, your computer doesn't recognize your device. But anyways, let's go ahead and type a quick command prompt in. All you have to do is type in ADB space side load space and after that, go ahead and right click at the top of your command prompt, go to edit and hit paste. It's gonna paste in that file name that we just copied. You'll see it says ADB sideload space file name. Make sure at the end of the file name you add .zip. Don't add .zip, .zip if there already is one .zip. So just make sure there is one .zip at the end of that file name and press enter. What it's gonna do is actually send over that update zip to your device through ADB. So you'll see it's sending side load. Um, it'll just give you a quick percentage. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it run through and I'll be right back once it is done. All right, so you'll see it says 100%. Um, that means it's done sending it over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my tablet. All right, so now you'll see there is a blue progress bar here letting us know uh, how much longer the update has left. You'll see it says installing system update. And it'll give you some progress down here in the bottom left as well as to what's going on. So it's just ma it's now automatically updating uh, through that zip file that we just transferred over. So it'll take a bit of time, so be patient with it. I'll be back once it is done or almost done. 
All right, you'll see it says install from ADB complete and it brings us back to that recovery menu. All you have to do is you'll see it's highlighting reboot system now. You can just press that power button and that would be it. So it'll just reboot our Nexus 10. You can unplug it now, you don't need it plugged in anymore, but we will see by the boot animation, the updated and new boot animation, the new KitKat boot animation that we should be now on Android 4.4 KitKat. Let it go ahead and run through. All right, here we go. Um, Started out pretty slow, but there, there you have it. So it's working just fine. Um, first boot up might take a little bit of time. Subsequent boot ups will be much quicker. All right, so my device has booted on up, and I'm now running KitKat Android 4.4. Uh, you'll see up at the top there is uh, new icons, different colored icons are now white. Some new settings icons, we can go into the settings menu. Uh, settings menu looks obviously much different, and Honestly, they need to fix this. This is a huge issue actually didn't mean to open up Google now Sorry about that, but the settings menu definitely needs to be changed You can go to about tablet and it brings up a whole new screen as opposed to the split screen So not exactly sure what uh, Google was thinking when updating the Nexus 10. This is not a 7 inch tablet This is a 10 inch tablet, so it needs to be a little bit different in that sense uh, Hopefully a future update will come out that will fix that but anyways Showing it off, I'm now on Android version 4.4 right there, uh, build number KRT160. So there you have it, now on KitKat, we can actually real quick go back there and quickly tap an Android version. And you got that quick Easter egg, of course, that I like to show that uh, just kind of shows your ne that your Nexus 10 is on uh, KitKat. Uh, there's actually one more screen, sorry about that. Just figured I'd show you guys. Um, just kind of shows off all the various builds, just a little, you just press and hold on that little screen and it comes up. So you'll see, uh, you got cupcake, donut, jelly bean, ice cream sandwich, all those icons showing up on this screen. Also, this shows off that uh, these uh, icons down here do get minimized. You'll see um, it brings up a transparent notification bar when you pull down from the top and it'll also bring up the uh, home back uh, recent running apps buttons as well. So just go home there. You also notice it didn't include the Google Experience Launcher. Um, I don't understand that either, Google. They didn't include it on the Nexus 7. It looks like only the Nexus 5 at the moment is getting that launcher, which makes really no sense to me. It seems like it's just too much fragmentation for Nexus devices. Maybe I'll make a video talking about that in the future. But anyways, if you want to try out the um, Google Experience Launcher on your Nexus 10, it might look a little goofy because it's not made for it, but I'll link to where you can try it out in the description of the video. But other than that, um, now you got KitKat on your Nexus 10, the official build. Hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, if you could subscribe to me, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.